the reviewer, the review, the the reviewer, the reviewer, the reviewer, the review, the the reviewer, the reviewer, the reviewer. What's going on, y'all? The reviewer is here, and I'm back to give y'all this album review of Mercedes called Rear End. All right, now this was Mercedes only album that came out under No Limit Records. And this, it took me a while to find this CD, man, for a decent price. So y'all just have to bear with me with that. And this is the real deal. And this is, and this thing is in pretty good condition too. I'm trying to find this, but it's so hard, man. But anyway, if y'all don't know who Mercedes is, in case y'all don't know, she was a female artist. She was a singer and a rapper. She's from Detroit, Michigan. And she pretty much hooked up with Master P them for this album here. Now, I had to listen to this thing like three times at least to get a full understanding of this album. I'll give y'all who made the beats for the album and before I say something else, remember the video with Charlemagne, you know, Master P had an interview on The Breakfast Club and he said something about Mercedes. She got a fat, you know, whatever. And I'm like, bro, why would you say that to Master P himself? Like you say that to other cats. Don't say that to the man who put Mercedes on in the music industry. I mean, what were you thinking? But anyway, Let's get on who made the beats for the album. The producers were KLC, Dez, Odell, Master P, Charles, Kino, Steve Below, and I believe that's all the producers. All right. The features, you saw that on the front cover, so you can pause it or rewind it back and check it out but there are all some features that weren't mentioned all right so i try my best to do with that so let's go with the songs now the first one is called it's your thing this features master p and this is a really nice track from mercedes she does a little singing here and then master p come through with a nice verse there's also a video for this song as well this was kind of like her single and i never knew there was a video so i checked it out on youtube it kind of reminds me of like, kind of like a TLC type thing, you know, when you watch the video. But it's really nice. Probably one of the better tracks off of this album. The next track is, excuse my French, but it's called Pussy. That's the name of the track. This features Ghetto Commission. Now, I really thought I was not going to like this song, but this song is bumping, man. This is probably one of my favorite tracks off of this album as well. And Ghetto Commission come through with some dope verses talking about how P makes the world go round and things like that. And then I forgot who sings the hook. He's in the group too, Ghetto Commission. And it's a really nice track that y'all should peep out. All right. Then the next one is called I Can Tell. This features J, is it Jamo? Then Mac, Free Mac by the way, and Peaches. This is another tight ass cut from Mercedes. And I remember back in the day, back in the 90s or late 90s, they used to play this song when you wanna have sex, you know, with other people and things like that. And this is a dope joint, man. I, I think honestly, if you don't like this song, I think something is wrong with you. I'm gonna be real, you know what I mean? But I think Jamo is singing on the hook and then Mercedes sings the hook as well. It's like a tennis hook, so to speak. All right, then Hit Em is a pretty nice track as well. This features Alexis and Mia X. And this track is pretty good. And when I hear this track, it kind of reminds me of, of a Nicki Minaj, you know, and I come to think about it, Nicki Minaj probably was influenced by Mercedes of, of this track. I mean, I could be wrong, but it just sounds like something Nicki Minaj will make, but it's a really nice track though. Then Kiss the Cat is a funny skip. 
Then I'm gonna go down to Bonnie and Clyde. This features Magic. May he rest in peace. And this is a pretty solid track. And they're pretty much talking about Bonnie and Clyde. If y'all familiar with the history of Bonnie and Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde, then you know the history of that. But this is a pretty solid track. Magic comes through with a solid verse and Mercedes does well on this song as well. Then I'm gonna go down to Pony Ride. This features Erica Fox, Odell and Peaches. This is a R&B cut. And this song was not as what I thought it would be at first, but I'm gonna be real. I started liking it a lot more as I listened to the song. So it's really nice and it's a pretty cool R&B cut. Then Candlelight and Champagne, this features Mia X and I think Mia X is singing on this song too, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a short track though, it don't last too long. I like the title of that song though, Candlelight and Champagne. But the song is pretty cool, not bad. Then Camouflage, all right, we back to the gangster stuff. This features Mac and a cat named Sam. I'm not sure who he is, but Mercedes come through with a dope verse, like she's rapping on here. And then Mac comes through with a dope verse as well. And then Sam comes through with a pretty good verse. This is a banging track, man. So if y'all know Camouflage, that's kind of like what they represent, the No Limit Tank. Then the next one is called Hush. This is another tight ass cut. This features Master P, Mystical, and Peaches. This track is banging. I like that little jingle sound on the beat. And then Mystical comes through with a dope verse as he usually do. And then Peaches, she come through with a nice verse. Master P does talking on here. So then what you need, this features Silk the Shocker and Alexis. And this is a banger, man. Like I really like this track. It kind of reminds me of something like Destiny's Child. If you hear it, you'll know what, exactly what I'm talking about. Silk comes through with an insane verse. The way he rapping on there is, is crazy. And y'all know it's about sex, of course. And then Alexis does a nice job on the hook. I believe that's her singing on the hook. And then Mercedes does a nice job singing as well. Then Crazy Boucher. This features Master P and Peaches. And the song, it reminds me of, of a woman trying to tell her man to go legit. And it starts off at the beginning that he's, you know, selling weed deal, you know, drug dealing. And she's telling him to get his act together and things like that. This is another R&B cut and a little bit of rapping in there too. And the song is pretty solid. Then I'm gonna go to My Love. This features Alexis and Serve On, you know what I'm saying? And this song is pretty cool. This is kind of an R&B and rapping together. And then Serve comes through with a dope verse Y'all know how Mr. Servon does it. You ain't even gotta explain it. Then the, I'm gonna go down to I Need a Thug. This features Popeye, Master P, and Odell. And this is a really nice cut from these guys. Mercedes just kinda singing on here. And Popeye, Master P, he talks on here, and Odell sings the hook. And this is probably one of the nicer cuts on the album. And then the last song is called You're the Only One. And this features Alexis. And this is a dope cut. This is an R&B cut though. I love that hook, man. I remember when I first heard this song, I had the song on repeat for, for a while. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this song is probably one of my favorite, my personal favorites off of the album. All right? So that's it. That's all the songs that I review for this album. The rate this, cause I really had a hard time rating this, uh, this album here. Out of a 10, I would give this a solid 8.5. Mercedes does a nice job with a little bit of mixing up rapping and singing. Um, at, before I've heard this album, I never knew she can sing. I thought she was just a rapper, you know what I'm saying? but she's both. 
you know so with that being said i, I commend her for coming out with a really good album um, the beats on here is pretty good and solid for the most part and honestly i don't think she has any bad songs so i might put it up to a nine i say 8.5 to a nine you know what i mean so 8.75 there's, there's not really any bad songs on here that I can't put a finger on. Maybe probably one at that, but most of the songs you can just play all the way through. So, but she do look nice on the album cover. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from it. Like, I'm just looking at the cover, but I wouldn't disrespect her in any way, shape or form like your boy did. I ain't gonna get too deep on that subject. But if you could find this CD, good luck because it's pretty expensive now um because they're not it's i don't think it's on the streams on amazon or not it might be on spotify i'm not too sure but if you like a good bit of r&b and rapping together this is definitely it for you and that's pretty much it shout out to mercedes for coming out with a nice album sadly she doesn't make music anymore so it was fun while it lasted, I put it like that. Um, and shout out to all the producers and all the features. All right. Much love to the real folks. And I'll be on here back with another review. All right. Peace out, guys.